Welcome to Operator Tuition Services. In this video, we'll discuss some types of matrices. All right, let's just jump right into it. So we'll begin by looking at a row matrix. A row matrix. So what is a row matrix? A matrix having only one row is called a row matrix. Hence, a matrix of order m by n is said to be a row matrix if m is equal to 1. So whenever the matrix has only one row, we call it a row matrix. So for, for an example, a, a matrix A, which is 5 minus 2, 4, four is a row matrix because matrix A has only one row. The next one is a column matrix, a column matrix. A matrix having only one column is called a column matrix. Hence, a matrix of order n by n is said to be a column matrix if n is equal to 1. So in the matrix, uh, we have only one column. So we call it a column matrix. Let's look at an example. So matrix A, 5 minus 7, 8 is a column matrix because it has only one column. Then we move on to a horizontal matrix, a horizontal matrix. So a matrix of order n by n is said to be a horizontal matrix if n is greater than m. In other words, if the number of columns are more than the number of rows, we say the matrix is a horizontal matrix. For example, matrix A is a horizontal matrix because the number of columns are more than the number of rows. Then we have a vertical matrix, a vertical matrix. So a matrix of order M by N is said to be a vertical matrix if M is greater than N. So here, the number of rows in the matrix should be more than the number of columns in the matrix. Let's look at an example. Example A has more rows than the number of columns. So we'll call matrix A a vertical matrix. The, the next one is the now or the zero matrix. The now or the zero matrix. So if all the elements in the matrix are zero, then it is called a zero matrix. So if all the elements, it doesn't matter the order of the, of the matrix, all the elements are supposed to be zero. So for example, matrix A has all elements being zero. Matrix B has all elements being zero. So we say matrices A and B are now or zero matrices. We move on to a square matrix, a square matrix. If a matrix has the same number of rows and the same number of columns, then it is called a square matrix, a square matrix. So for an example, if you take matrix A, this is a two by two square matrix because it has two rows and then a two columns. So that is a, a square matrix. The number of rows are supposed to be the same as the number of columns. Let's move on to a diagonal matrix, a diagonal matrix. If all the elements except the principal diagonal in a square matrix are zero, it is called a diagonal matrix. So apart from the elements on the, the, the principal diagonal, all the other elements or members of the matrix are supposed to be zero. One thing we need to note about diagonal matrices is, is that all diagonal matrices are square matrices, which means that they should have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. So if you take an example like matrix A, the first one, and we have two, zero, zero, eight. This is a diagonal matrix because apart from the principal diagonal, all the other elements are zero. So two and eight are the elements on the principal diagonal. They are all uh, uh, non-zero numbers. Uh, and the others, the other elements are all zero. If you take the other matrix, we have five, zero, 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 eight, zero, 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 four. Apart from the principal diagonal, which has elements five, eight, and four, all the other elements are zero. So we say that the matrices, a the matrix that we have there, the first one and then the second one are all diagonal matrices. 
then we have the identity matrix, the identity matrix. So if all the elements of the principal diagonal of a diagonal matrix are one, then it is called an identity matrix, which means that before we have an identity matrix, the matrix is supposed to be diagonal. And a diagonal matrix is a square matrix, which means we only have identity matrix when we have a square, a square matrix. So an identity matrix must be a square matrix. So looking at the first one, the first matrix A, we have one, zero, zero, one. So apart from the principal diagonal, which has all its elements being one, the other elements are zero. So this is a two by two identity matrix. Then we have a triangular matrix, a triangular matrix. So a square matrix is said to be a triangular matrix if the elements above or below the principal diagonal are zero. So for this, all the other elements are supposed to be non-zero apart from the elements either below or above the principal diagonal, which are supposed to be zero. So we have two types of triangular matrix. We have the lower triangular matrix, whereby all the elements below the principal diagonal are zero. And then we have the upper triangular matrix, where all the elements above the principal diagonal uh, zero, uh, zero. So matrix A is a lower triangular matrix, and then matrix B is an upper triangular matrix. 